The men they'll be my property If they don't work I shoot through Then here yeah, we'll all feel great When money comes marching home Geez, we're off to such a wonderful start here, aren't we? Good morning, America. Dictionary this morning as the Agriculture Corporation declared exclusive rights for the oxygen that plants produce. Uh, you have no clue how property rights work, do you? Or that IP isn't even a valid form of property to begin with? My name is TK48. Yeah, my parents couldn't afford the more mainstream copyrighted names. I, I just, I don't, I don't even, uh, look, even if IP were valid, and it isn't, and even if it were a part of anarcho-capitalism, which it isn't, you still wouldn't be able to copyright a name, idiots. In other news, another Disney facility was allegedly attacked by the Louis Vuitton Air Force, Okay, first of all, Pixar you ain't. Second, if big megacorps would go to war with each other, then why aren't they all ready? And before you start whining that your magical state's there to stop them, we'll take a look at a couple of groups called the Bloods and the Crips. Businesses do not go to war with each other when they can operate openly and freely. In a prohibitionist market, you can't stop them. The thing is, war is expensive. It cannot be done profitably, and it requires a lot of personnel, and who on earth would sign up for it absent a government? Governments can wage war because of taxation, money printing, and conscription. Wars cannot be waged without some combination of those three. Alright, so you're probably wondering how can this guy have a plan to expand the company when all land is privately owned and all monopolies already taken? You don't get monopolies in a free market. You can only get them with government support. How many times do we have to go over this? Well, the answer is North Korea. What the hell is a North Korea? Can we sell that? No, no. It's a statist land, not privately owned by anyone. If we could take control of that land, we would have total monopoly of the entire market for 23 million people. I... Uh, uh, I... Uh, I can't even fathom how their thinking must have gone wrong here. I just have one problem. What about the non-aggression principle? I'm glad you asked. See, in 1950, North Korea invaded South Korea, where there are now McDonald's private properties. So they technically broke the NAP first. Um, just how do you morons think the nap works? Hey, MB77, have you seen that new thing from NSA Corp? If you upgrade to Gold subscription, they can tell you if someone's radio transmissions are interfering with your private property. Uh, what? The only way radio transmissions can interfere with someone's private property is if they're jamming someone else's radio transmissions that were there first. Do you guys not know the first thing about anarcho-capitalism? Or is this just more desperation because you can't respond to what our philosophy really says? Hey, Sharky, I got a tip for you. Don't try to go up against North Korea yourself. They're way better at making baseless attack propaganda than you are. Nothing personal, Ronan. I'll send your family to the McGulag for 7,000 years. Oh, I see! You're a lunatic! You're taking everything that socialism does and delusionally painting it as a problem with anarcho-capitalism, which is the polar opposite! You know. Yeah, you're not the Wachowskis either. Textbook case of trying too hard. I'll get you, Burger King! So if you're wondering how this so-called movie ends, well, that's it. It doesn't really have an ending. It's not only lying propaganda designed to poison the well against the nap, it's badly written propaganda at that, with terrible dialogue and no actual story structure whatsoever. 
I have, honestly, no joke, seen better written short films from 12-year-olds. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit like and subscribe? And to make sure I can keep producing content, support this channel by becoming a patron. And check out all the other great content here, like this video selected especially for you.